We live yet? Huh? Are we live? Check it out. I am Strictly Battlefield, and this is Beginner Pro Tips. Right off the bat, what do you do? So let's just go into the main screen here. So you start off with your crew. You've already built your character. You got Carcitas VIP on the PlayStation, it's the big touchpad. The big touchpad will take you to your map. How do you find the missions? You press triangle on it. It'll show you the missions. Now in some areas, you're going to need intel, major intel like this, in order to progress to some of the missions. Now you press R1 on the top screen here. You have your skills. This is where you're... This is where you're going to fine-tune your characters. This is where you're going to make them a beast mode, depending on how you like to play. I have 108. We're going to go over that in a second. You can go R1 again to your loadout. You can do your loadout on the fly anytime you'd like. Uh, X selects the weapon, and you can change it up for any other weapon that you get. I played about 30% of the game, so I am a little bit deep into it. Now, again, you're back in here. You're back in your main screen. For me, I changed the sensitivity. That was the options button down to options here, controls, and you can change sensitivity any way you like because I feel that it is very, very low in the very beginning, but that's okay. Resume, tutorial, also things pop up. If you wanna join a public match, sometimes the pop-up is hold down X to do co-op, or you do the touchpad again, go to lobby, right here, join public match. At any time, you can join a public match and hang out with your friends. All right. Moving around. It's fairly simple if you want to go somewhere. Up to a vehicle. Hold down square. You can start driving. Press the touchpad. Go to the screen. You create waypoints. Say, I wanted to go here. The bonus medal you want to collect. Pro tip! Collect the bonus medals because they will give you... If you look here, it's highlighted. There's a bonus medal here on the very bottom of the screen on the right. 50% movement reduction. Down here, I don't have the metal, but if I did, it would be 15% or 10% spray reduction, rather. Let's go. So, with your map, you can select a waypoint. Then, on your big map, on your HUD on the bottom, you can see it's in that direction. It tells you how many meters you want to go out. If you wanted to do a mission, same thing. You select a mission, it will tell you exactly where to go. As you go along, you want to pick up these documents here, things like that. You're pretty much going to have a blank screen. And you're just going to want to have to just dive into it. Just dive into it and see how it goes. Play solo if you are afraid. I wouldn't say afraid. But if you want to learn the fastest, play solo because the guys help you out greatly. As you're aiming, some of the important things. How do you arm and disarm the silencer? Holding down the L2 or aiming. Similar FPS to many of the games that you played. You can press down. I'm sorry. You can press up. You will unscrew. You can press up and he'll screw it back in right here. It'll show. There's the silencer right there. It is on. It is equipped. Throwing grenades Frag out. is at R1. Now you can hold down R1 and pick exactly where you want to throw the grenade. It's fairly simple. Reload is square. There'll be these ammo crates throughout. You can go up to them. There's two different things. It says loadout, but you can just press the touchpad and go to loadout at any time if you'd like. Just like that. In the loadout, how do you customize your weapon? Customization. Uh, it'll say right there, edit, square, parts. You just go through and pick out whatever you like. You will unlock things as you go. So magazine, there's an extended magazine available. I am rocking the factory sniper rifle, but I did go and get uh, the PK, or this one right here. This tactical scope is very good for me. I like it. I have the book. So I know all the deep, dark secrets of the game. And that's pretty much, I think, everything to get you started. As you see, you'll start to play, you'll go around. As you're aiming, you see a target, you tap the X on the very right of the screen. It says sync shot. It'll allow you to sync your shot. So all you gotta do is select somebody, and then once you fire, they will fire on the other person. Now, a lot of people stream that. You can check that out if you need to. But I think that's the most basics now I said a hundred skill points I'm gonna spend them right now based on my experience in the game here uh, as far as the weapon goes let's see stable aim it doesn't have you can't hold the button and then steady there's no holding your breath so I think the stable aim we're gonna go ahead and rock one grenade launcher I love the grenade launcher we are gonna definitely get the grenade launcher 
ammo capacity I think is okay but uh, time to aim so this is what this makes it faster by 10% ammo retention unlocks full ammo upon response so this this right here will help you blow up the cars so we're gonna make that a little bit stronger okay the drone the drone is very important you press up on the d-pad the drone flies around you can spot your enemies the speed I feel is okay the stealth is okay the cooldown is okay I think the marking the area I want it to be able to mark people faster and the battery dies night vision and range we're gonna go ahead and just knock them down we'll come back to it if uh, we have more points items parachute yes please already I've been dying I've had the parachute in the beta and it was amazing flashbangs flare guns flashbangs are cool c4 frag grenade if I knock to the recon let's see here thermal vision oh yeah let's try the thermal vision that'll help out frag grenade make it more powerful diversion lure we'll come back to this we got a lot I guess stamina yes no pain yes and I have a Bonus metal with that. Duration increases by 50%. Car shield. What is the car shield? Ground field cruise drive. Take less. No. Quiet running. Yes, it sounds good. Bullet resistance. Two times. Yes. Because you do get shot up. You can. Again, it's on how you play. Revive speed. Extra long sink. Yes. This, I want to do all four. I'm getting both of these. Squad resilience. By 5%. Trained rebels. Damage increase. Revive speed. We'll make it faster. We'll make it twice as fast. Rebel support. We got to complete. The rebel supports are, are nice. I'll show you this. Real quick, I'll actually show it to you. This is an important one. You hold down R1 and you use the left stick. And you can call in, say you want to call in a diversion. You I hit the X, for a diversion. and the rebels will come in, and it'll cause a diversion, helping you to go in and complete your mission. Uh, also, your guys, they can get lost. You Rally tell them to people. regroup. Roger that. And see, they come Roger towards you. Roger. You can tell them if you want to fire. Ready? Fire! Fire, fire. Copy. Or you want to hold. hold Roger. There is a cooldown, however, on the rebel support. You get that just by playing the game. Back to 100 skill points squad I still got 78 so more stamina oh after being revived that is no pain let's just go oh I can't get it I need 4900 whatever that is see on the very far right it's not just the skill points that you need it's other stuff too as well so you got to make sure that's what the side missions are good for. You got to make sure and be well-rounded with everything. Diversion. Oh, yeah. Diversion lure. I do want this. There's a certain mission in the game. I don't have it on me. I can't remember it exactly. It's a bank truck, I think it is, where you have to sneak out of the area. If you had the diversion lure, you'd be able to throw it and sneak out no problem because they would just move away. We had to climb on top of the roof, dive off the roof, land, break both knees, shins, kneecaps, everything gone, thigh meat was messed up. Had to get saved in order to complete the mission. But if you had a diversion, you wouldn't need to do that. Uh, let's go double battery. Oh, we need double range. Okay. The cooldown I feel is fine. Markable area. Oh, nope, that's it, weapon now. Got the grenade launcher. Time to aim. I can't get that. What does this do here? Oh, one more grenade? Oh, I can't get that either. Stable aim, I can get that. I can't get any of that. What can I get now? Oh, see, I need more of these other... What I'm looking at is it says binocular zoom requirements over here says requirements. Uh, it says I need 500 of a certain one. So binocular zoom, sure, 500. I have that. Mine, I don't need the mine. Frag grenade. See on the far right, I don't have enough. It's in red. 
I need 1750 not sure what that is and it's 1575 I know it says what it is and physical can I get oh I can get this I can't get bullet resistance quiet running I can't get that car shield I can't get that can't get that can't get that either how about on the squad train rebels yes squad resilience yes all right, I think I'm out of things I can get. So I only got to spend about 50 points. I guess I have to, I can get this. Nope, my nope, drone. All right, I'm out of these other points here. My drone speed is fast as a lightning bolt. Stealth, I can get it. Might as well. We're maxing out here. That's weird to quit drone. Oh, it's a noisemaker. It makes noise. I fly it in. I drop it off. So down here on the far end, a medic. I can equip... A way to revive you with the drone I fly it in I stab you with the little needle that'd be thumbs down on the um, controller on the sticks boom goes down stabs you you're revived all right I think I maxed out on everything hit fire spread two times oh I can get this ammo capacity sure all right, so what are these things that, what are these other things that, that you need to get? Let me show you that real quick too. So right here, if we do this side mission, we get 2,200 medication. So the square the, is medication. This is gasoline. Okay, 2,500 gasoline for that. Uh, support upgrade. Let's see. What is this one? Support unlock. Comms. Okay, so one of them's comms. There's plus 5,000. So you have to do these other ones in order to get it. Get what you... So now I need to do a bunch of side missions here. I think I'm going to do the side missions without the camera. Well, I hope that helps you. Ghost Recon Wildlands. I'm doing the stream based off the book here. In the very front, it shows the long list of bosses it goes from page 112 to 584 we are on part nine we are on espiritu santo page 256 follow me along as i complete the game based off of the book once again this is strictly battlefield and we have dived deeper into the murky waters that is ghost recon i will see you in the wildlands